Eyewitness News 5 starts now. They're using the seatbelt law to single out blacks to pull them over. Tonight, concerns that certain people are being singled out by police in the metro because of the color of their skin. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Tonight we have the Oklahoma City Police document showing who is being busted for not wearing a seatbelt. But some feel it could be a sign of racial profiling targeting African American drivers. It's a story Mark Myers has been looking into and he's live with the details on our big story at 6. Mark? We'll talk to a lot of people today about who is being busted for not buckling up. I can tell you right now there are a lot of questions. Wearing a seatbelt is the law. Whether that person is black or white, it is against the law to drive and operate a vehicle without people wearing their seatbelts. Some are raising questions about who's getting those tickets. If it looks like there is a trend, then just to bring it to the attention of the police department, let them solve that problem, if there is a problem. Police record seatbelt citations. Now compare them to census numbers. Oklahoma City is 68% white, 15% black, 10% Hispanic. Other races make up 7% of the city's population. Compare those numbers to these. Since January of 2000, police have issued just over 4,600 citations for drivers and passengers caught without their seat belts. 54% of those tickets went to whites, 29% to blacks. That's nearly double the percentage when compared to the black population. They're using the seat belt law to single out blacks to pull them over. The ACLU agrees with that sentiment. These statistics uh, combined with other evidence could ultimately be utilized to demonstrate a case that uh, perhaps racial profiling is occurring. But others just don't see it that way. I don't think police will pick on you. I just think that they know that people don't care. Police agree, saying they are just doing their job. I think in the end that we would be we would be shown that we're simply enforcing the laws as fairly and as equally as we can. Now speaking with Councilwoman Willa Johnson today, she says that she's waiting on final statistics from the city manager's office. Once she reviews them, if she sees that there is a problem, she will ask the police department to do something about it. Reporting live, I'm Mark Myers, Eyewitness News 5. Mark, thank you, sir. We checked, and the Oklahoma City Police say they will take a look at the numbers, and once they get a final count, they will decide if policy needs to be changed. We have new details tonight on a Metro murder case. A judge is ordering a new trial. That's because a mistrial was granted yesterday for Ronnie Lott. He's charged with killing two elderly women 15 years ago, and the prosecution is seeking the death penalty. Some of the evidence in the case was handled by former Oklahoma City police chemist Joyce Gilchrist. Defense lawyers agreed to not question her credibility on the DNA evidence in the new trial. It's scheduled for December 3rd and should run about two weeks. New at 6 tonight, the convenience of running into the airport to pick up an out-of-town guest or a family member will be back. It is back, in fact, today. Will Rogers' hourly parking lot has been closed because of recent security measures, and now it is back in full swing, but not without a major change. Eyewitness News 5 reporter Monica Merced joins us live with the story. Monica? Jim, before you even think about parking an hourly, you're going to have to get through this guy. Starting today, security is here 24 hours a day. They're going to want to look in your back seat. They want you to pop your trunk to make sure there's nothing out of the ordinary. And also, for some cars, they're going to randomly choose some cars, they're going to look underneath your car to make sure nothing is out of the ordinary. Once you pass that inspection, you go on up the ramp as normal and you go ahead and take your ticket. Now, if you're wondering why they're going ahead and reinstating the parking, they're doing that right now because of the holiday season. They say because Thanksgiving is right around the corner and Christmas is almost here, they're trying to make the holiday traveling season as smooth as possible for people. As you saw, that really took only about 30 seconds. And for that reason, they say they really don't think that this should make the traffic back up anywhere where it would be four or five cars, maybe at the most. They hope that people understand they're trying to do this for everyone's security. Reporting live, Monica Merced, Eyewitness News 5. And a graphic way to let us know about it. Thank you, Monica. Now, the airport says their security guard will be stationed there 24 hours a day until January. And remember to check on the status of your flight before you leave home. Head to the travel section of our website, channeloklahoma.com. Also new at 6 tonight, in any business, there's no training like real experience. Firefighters will tell you that especially holds true in their line of work. So today in Midwest City, those charged with saving homes instead burn down an apartment complex. Eyewitness News 5 reporter Jason Overstreet is live in Midwest City with the story. Jason. 
Susan, there's essentially nothing left of what was this apartment structure here on Southeast 29th near I-40. And reporting from a fire scene from a cha for a change, it's nice to say this was the plan. Everybody ready to go in that's going in, okay. and they'll go in second. This morning, crews from Midwest City, Dell City, and Tinker Air Force Base stood ready as the two-story building started to go up. A few minutes later, the training began as real an exercise for firefighters as there can be. For smaller departments, this type of situation may be the first experience for some of their people. We did get to tear some doors off of this and do some forcible entry and breach some walls, some things like that. Uh, if we have a training facility that doesn't allow us to do that, then, then we may not have the opportunity to, to do some of those things. It's certainly a more real form of training, but is it better? One metro community or fire department says typically not for them. We'll have that story coming up at 10 on exactly why it is the fi that fire department says this may have more cost than benefit. Susan? All right, we'll look for that. Thank you, Jason. And there is new information tonight on relief efforts in the tornado-damaged town of Cordell. Right now, we're told more than $765,000 has been approved to help people and businesses rebuild. There have also been 275 registrations for federal and state help. The F3 tornado did an estimated $15 million in damage. Now, 24-hour first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Rick Mitchell. We've had no severe weather in the state today, but we have had rain. Not necessarily here in the metro, but far western Oklahoma. Take a look at first alert Doppler radar. What you're seeing around central Oklahoma, not rain, but what you're seeing out to the west definitely is. In fact, as we get a closer look at this, uh, it's been raining fairly heavily in parts of southwestern Oklahoma. Hollis, right here on your screen, they've picked up nearly two inches of rain. And Elk City, along I-40, they've picked up uh, close to a half an inch of rain, and the rain continues. Take a look at the weather planner. Storm system that is responsible for the rain will be staying to our west this evening. So we will stay dry, mostly cloudy. Temperatures gradually falling to around 60 later on this evening by early tomorrow morning. So when are we going to see rain chances around here? I'll let you know coming up in a few more minutes. For now, that's the latest from the 24-hour First Alert Weather Center. That's what we want to know. Mm -hmm. yeah. We need some rain. Well, and more local news tonight when it comes to public transportation. Oklahoma City is missing the bus. That's according to a new report that ranks the metro dead last among our country's 50 biggest cities in funding mass transit. The Sierra Club ranked each community based on the money spent per resident on buses, trains, and other commuter projects. It says Oklahoma City's high rate of funding for highways and low spending on mass transit means more cars and trucks on the road and more smog in our skies. Are you tired of credit card bills every month, high credit card bills? Well, you may be surprised at who could help you to lower them. And it's just in time for the holiday season. Coming up in a live report, we'll show you how one phone call can help you save money when it comes to using one of these. And you've seen the lure of the lottery in several nearby states. Tonight, details on a new push for the game in Oklahoma. The markets rallied as U.S. retail sales blew away investors. Retail sales rose more in October than in any other month in the government's 10 years of record keeping. Consumers spent more money at auto dealers, department and discount stores and also at building supply outlets. Sales surged 7%. That's almost three times analyst expectations after falling 2.2% in September. Some stocks that benefited from the report were Home Depot, which rose over $2 on the day, and Lowe's, which gained 3%. At the closing bell, the Dow Jones Industrial Average rallied 72 points, the S&P 500 rose 2, and the NASDAQ gained 10 points. Hewlett Packard said that its net income fell 89% for its fiscal fourth quarter. However, shares of HP rose after its sales beat forecasts and consumer demand rose. And U.S. airlines will only have to pay half of the $2 billion due tomorrow in taxes. The U.S. Treasury Department extended the deadline to January 1st for the other $1 billion that's due. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Deborah Kostrom with the Bloomberg After the Bell Report. The Eyewitness News 5 Bloomberg Report is brought to you exclusively by Burns Pocket Retirement Advisors, the smart choice for your quality of life. Hi, Drew Carey here. You know, some things are just better live. Like this plant, this fish, and Grandma here. Why don't you ever visit me? I'll play cards later here. Have a fish. You know what else is good live? Drew Carey. Tonight at 9, 8 central on ABC. In my day, all TV was live. Big stinking deal.
Eyewitness News is brought to you in part by Saturn. Saturn is working to keep our economy strong in jobs, in commerce, and in spirit. As part of that effort, we're providing interest-free financing on every new coupe, sedan, and wagon we make. Come visit your Saturn retailer and keep America rolling. What do you think of this one? I think it's nice. Would you care to take a closer look? Thanks. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. Very sparkly. Uh, how about I put some chili on it? Nice. It's Chili Makes It Better Month at Sonic, featuring our extra-long coney covered with meaty chili and shredded cheese. Get one now with a large order of tots for just $2.99. And if you just can't get enough chili, try our Fritos Chili Pie for just 99 cents. Oklahoma City. Important news from Economy Hearing Aid Centers. For years you've trusted us to bring you important information. This is something truly amazing. Through an exclusive arrangement, Economy can now assist you in receiving a 100% cash back rebate on any hearing aids we sell. Trust us on this and call us right away to schedule an appointment to learn more about this amazing offer. With Christmas just around the corner, what better gift to give than the joy of hearing along with a 100% cash back rebate? Don't delay. Call Economy Hearing Aid Centers today. We do so much to keep skin looking healthy. But when life cuts in, ow, there's a healthy skin secret that may surprise you. It's Neosporin to help minimize the appearance of scars. Neosporin not only kills more strains of infectious bacteria, a clinical test shows that treating scrapes with Neosporin helps minimize the appearance of scars. Healthy looking skin is beautiful skin. Help keep it that way with Neosporin. Every cut, every time. Attention all current and former Walmart employees. You may be entitled to money damages. If you've experienced the following, forced to work off the clock, not been given meal or rest breaks, locked in the store overnight, or if you've not been paid for all your hours worked or suspect your time records have been altered, call 1-800-544-9922 and get the facts. Warning, there may be a time limit. So current and former Walmart employees, if you've not been paid for all your hours worked, you may be entitled to money damages. There is a time limit, so call now. 1-800-544-9922. If you believe sun, you think it's Armageddon. We are near that time when those signs are going to come to pass before our very eyes. Tonight at 10 on Eyewitness News 5, searching for answers in uncertain times. More people are turning to religion. The book of Revelation gives Christians hope. How are clergy reacting to September 11th? Has their message changed? No matter what evil that we face in life, God is stronger. The search for a higher power. Tonight at 10 on Eyewitness News 5. Welcome back. Before you toss that next credit card offer you get in the mail, you might want to take a look inside. Credit card rates are falling toward the lowest in history from almost 17% to 14 and a half. New tonight, our Kathy King is live to show you how to cash in on the savings. Kathy? Well, Susan, before you start racking up all the Christmas shopping charges on your credit cards, take a few minutes and pick up the phone. You might be surprised at how much you can save. Yes, I wanted to check on lowering my interest rate. With one call and 10 minutes, I found out my credit card company could lower my rate one percentage point to 14.9. Sure, and that would be effective immediately. But later, hope it could be lowered again. Three to six months and see if we have anything available. Now, we won't necessarily have something lower available every time, but just by maintaining a good payment history, uh, there's a possibility that we can lower that for you. In the next year, credit card holders are expected to save $600 million in interest charges. But you have to make the call. They're not going to call you and say, do you want a lower rate? Uh, the, the individual needs to take the initiative to try, to try to do something. And sometimes the lowest rate might mean you have to start from scratch. Preferred APR of 0% on transfer balances, 49 months, 11.49%. 
For me, a new card promises 11.49%. Now that's four points lower than when I started just a few minutes ago. But before you swipe away with any new card, Gary Riffey with Consumer Credit Counseling Service says these are the questions you must ask. How long will this rate be in effect? Is it really a temporary rate? And what does happen if I'm just a little bit late on a single payment? What happens to my rate at that point? And here's the biggie. As long as you get the lower rate to help pay off those credit card debts, well, then you're helping yourself. But if instead you, you buy more because you're paying less, well, you're not going to do any good. You're going to end up with more charges in the end. Reporting live, Kathy King, Eyewitness News 5. Don't want to do that. Thank you, Kathy. For more information on credit card rates and to find out who's got the lowest rate, head to our website, channeloklahoma.com. And new at 6 tonight, some Oklahomans are hoping that a state lottery may be the ticket to not only a better financial future, but to a better education. The group Citizens for a Better Oklahoma is putting together a petition to get the lottery issue on a statewide ballot. Now, the proceeds, they say, would help fund schools. Already, the lottery is shaping up as a divisive political issue. It's a plank on the official platform of independent candidate for governor Gary Richardson, while Congressman Steve Largent, a top Republican contender, has come out against the idea. We are going to hear more about that one in the months. For sure. Hot that. issue. Now, you know what it's like to be confused. <laughs> Wouldn't know that one. Don't imagine, take the setup. Yeah, exactly. Imagine <laughs> the poor Don't azaleas. Take the, bait. <laughs> the poor azaleas yeah. in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Azaleas usually come up in the spring. Is this going to be related to the bears in Canada? Maybe. All right. The azaleas <laughs> in Minneapolis are coming up now. They think it's springtime. We've had oh, nice gosh. weather around here, but you know, in Minneapolis, they've been having temperatures in the 60s, close to 70 degrees as well. So these poor azaleas think, oh boy, that was a simple winter. Let's go out and celebrate. Little do they know what fate awaits them. Colder air is building in Canada and will make its way in here next week. But enough about that for right now. Let's show you what's happening. Let's show you the storm system that is affecting the state. Look at all the rain across West Texas, even into Western Oklahoma. They need the rain across Texas. This is a very, very good thing. Showed you earlier that Hollis, Oklahoma, has picked up almost two inches of rain. And Eric, Oklahoma, a little farther north, picked up almost a half an inch with the showers so far. This system, kind of swirling around here, is going to park itself over New Mexico and just sit there for the next day or so. So rain chances will stay highest well to our west. In fact, I think the next 24 hours around here will be dry. Let's take a look at first alert Doppler radar. Here's the state view, nothing going on, except back in western Oklahoma. There's Hollis, there, there are folks that have had almost two inches of rain. And uh, Eric, up here along I-40, has picked up about four tenths to a half an inch of rain. Looks like you folks in Altus will be seeing some. These showers are generally moving off to the north and uh, should continue to do so for the rest of the evening. Here are your weather headlines. Now, this storm system is going to stall out to our west. Eventually, it's going to start moving northeast, and that will give us some slim rain chances Friday and Saturday. And then, of course, the colder weather is going to come in next week. You could forget about the 60s and 70s. We'll be having highs next week, mostly in the 50s. And we're still in the 60s right now. Here it is, 617, 60 degrees, Oklahoma City, 65, Stillwater, 70 right now in Altus, only 57 in Childress Neighborhood Network. Let's see what that shows. Temperatures in the mid 60s, 66 here at the Weather Center, 65 Crossroads Mall, 67 Quail Springs Mall. High temperature today, well above normal once again. We had a high of 71, 10 degrees above the normal of 61. 58 was the low this morning. We've had no rainfall. Here's the weather map tomorrow. Still, best chance for rain west and south of the metro area. There's our storm system. We'll put that into motion and go from tomorrow on into Friday. The storm actually starts lifting out to the northeast. So our rain chances increase, increasing a little bit on Friday and on into Saturday. About a 20 to 30 percent chance both of those days. But till then, until then, it looks pretty dry. Freedom. Weatherford, you guys will be dry. Arnett, slight chance for showers. Southwestern Oklahoma, you'll have the best chance tomorrow. Cordell, 68. Hollis, 68. About a 30 to 40 percent chance for more rain. Dry in eastern Oklahoma and mild, too. Highs around 70. And same thing in the southeast, 71. In Holdenville, Pauls Valley, 70 degrees. What about the metro? Here's my first alert forecast. Becoming mostly cloudy tonight. The rain stays west, 56 for a low temperature. Tomorrow, a mix of clouds and sunshine. A high in the upper 60s to near 70. Winds out of the southeast, 6 to 12. Seven-day forecast. 
As that system opens up and lifts across the southern plains, we'll have a slight chance for showers Friday, Saturday, but still pretty mild. Highs upper 60s, Sunday dry upper 60s. Then the cold front comes in for next week. Slight chance of showers early Monday and then dry Tuesday and Wednesday, probably on into Thanksgiving as well, with highs lower 50s and lows mostly in the 40s and 30s, a little closer to where we should be this time of year. You are up to date with the latest 24-hour first alert forecast. Calvin Sampson Sooner is getting ready for a big one tonight against Michigan State. And the top high school basketball player in Oklahoma signs on the dotted line today. We'll hear from him next on Eyewitness Sports 5. Children today have more choices than ever before, including the decision to choose foods and physical activities that are right for their bodies. Fruits, vegetables, milk, whole grains, and lean proteins help children develop strong, healthy bodies. And with proper nutrition, every child has a chance to excel. And a healthy body means what, kids? A strong mind! This message brought to you by USDA and State Superintendent Sandy Garrett's Healthy Body Strong Minds Initiative. It's not just about saving money. It's about spending time, just dropping by, and creating bonds rather than simply buying them. At Edward Jones, it's never just about investing. It's about knowing you and your dreams. My every hope, my life, my world, it all begins with a dream. Edward Jones, investing in you and your dreams. Hurry for the opportunity of a lifetime. Right now, get 0% APR on Toyota Corolla. Saving you $2,289 in finance charges. See Bob Howard, Fowler, Jansen, Dub Richardson, and Hudeberg. But hurry! Your favorite Toyotas have 0% financing only through December 3rd. Welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to order from our new McValue menu? Wow. Decisions, decisions. Uh, Is he ready to be the architect of his own 69, 79, 99 cent destiny? I'll have a big and tasty sandwich, side salad, an apple pie, and... Drink selection. Tough one. Chocolate shake. But not for him. Bravo. Create your own meal from the new 69, 79, 99 cent McValue menu. Are you ready for a whole new way to order? Oh, sweetie, what's wrong? Don't worry. Show you can your eyes. For you. What? Downloads. Faster, smoother, easier. DSL Internet from SBC Southwestern Bell. We're on it. Call now and save $199. Hi, Drew Carey here. You know, some things are just better live. Like this plant, this fish, and Grandma here. Why don't you ever visit me? We'll play cards later here. Have a fish. You know what else is good live? TV! In my day, all TV was live. Big stinking deal. But it is a big stinking deal, because we've got the Blue Man Group, and it's live in three time zones. Boy, Drew, when you finish a meal, you finish a meal. <laughs> it's Drew Carey Live tonight at 9, 8 central on ABC. Coming up tonight at 10, we've told you about two Norman men under arrest because of their connection to a suspected terrorist. Well, now federal officers detain several other OU students who live in the same apartment complex. Plus, opening the book in search for God and the search for answers after the attacks. We talked with several church leaders as many turned to the book of Revelation and belief in the second coming of Christ. Those stories and more come out at 10. Now, sports with Ron Terrell. The OU men's basketball team with its first big test of the season tonight in East Lansing. The Sooners facing Michigan State in the second round of the preseason NIT. Oklahoma coming off a first round win over Central Connecticut State Monday night. OU will play many tough games this season and Kelvin Sampson says it's good for his team to have one this early in the schedule. If you play a tough non-conference schedule, you're going to get Nate. Michigan State's going to lose some non-conference games this year and so will we. 
But what we're, our goal, both our goals, is to be playing our best basketball when we get to March. I tell you this, though, we're we going to go in there confident. We ain't we going to come in there backstepping to them. Well, in a keto game like this, you should always respect your opponent, but you don't over-respect them. We've got a pretty good tradition, too. The Sooners and Spartans tip off tonight at 8. We'll have highlights on Eyewitness Sports 5 at 10. Eddie Sutton's Cowboys open their season on Friday night against Cincinnati and Stillwater. Expectations high for the Pokes, who return one of the best backcourts in the nation with Mo Baker and Victor Williams. OSU has had its share of tough season openers, but this year's may top them all. It certainly will be the toughest opening game that uh, Oklahoma State has had for a long while. They're talented and certainly very well coached, so uh, I would hope the next four days that we practice we get a little bit better than we've been playing. The Cowboys and Bearcats, 8 p.m. Friday night at Gallagher Iba Arena. Today, the first day, high school kids can officially sign D1 letters of intent out at Midwest City. Sheldon Williams signs with Duke. The 6'9 power forward says the great hoops and the great school made it an easy decision. I was little, my parents always taught me, if you don't have your grades, you can't play ball. And they stressed that all through my life. So, I mean, when I look at college, my future, I want to, I mean, I want to see the long way turn instead of the short way. I mean, I'm going to go to college. That's good academics and not just good basketball. Sheldon's teammate, D'Angelo Alexander, set to sign with Oklahoma on Friday. OU back on the road this weekend facing Texas Tech on the gridiron. The Red Raiders 6-3 and, and now just a couple of spots out of the top 25. But Bob Stoops feels Tech has always been a force to be reckoned with. I thought they were good last year. Um, the year before they beat us, you know, and they were a 6-5 and five team, I believe, uh, you know, spikes last year. So, so they, they've had good teams. The Sooners and Red Raiders kick off at 2.30 Saturday right here on KOC 05. Co-defensive coordinator Mike Stoops' name keeps being mentioned as a potential candidate for the Kansas head coaching job. He won't comment on whether or not he's been contacted by the school, and right now he says he's focusing on the Red Raiders. Oklahoma State facing the Baylor Bears Saturday, and the Cowboys and Bears both winless in conference play, so something has to give in Waco this weekend. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good game. I mean, believe it or not, Baylor is better than they have been in the years past. I mean, they even put up some points this year, and we didn't gave up a lot. So we're just gonna have to come together as defense union, secondary, to be able to stop the offense. The Cowboys and Bears kick things off Saturday at 1 p.m. And Oklahoma State a seven-point favorite on the road. Hmm. Somebody's that. getting a W. That's right. Somebody. Well, somebody one's 0 and six. One's 0 and seven. Somebody will win this weekend. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. Thank you for joining us tonight. Wheel of Fortune is next. And be sure to join us tonight at 10. We'll take a closer look at firefighters as they burn down a local apartment complex for training. Is that a good idea? Is it worth the risk? We'll ask those questions tonight at 10. And for any late breaking news, stay with Eyewitness News 5 and log on to our website, channeloklahoma.com. We hope you have a great night, everybody. We'll see you at 10. The closed captioning portion of this program is made possible by New Sound Hearing Aid Laboratory. We've got a winner in Channel Oklahoma's House and Home Sweepstakes. This week's prize is donated by Gulfstream Financial. Click on House and Home at ChannelOklahoma.com. Enter your name today for your chance to win big from Channel Oklahoma and KOCO5. Across the country.